Speaker of the House Mike Johnson has a big week coming up. First and foremost, he's expected to hold a vote on formally authorizing an impeachment inquiry into President Biden. Former Speaker Kevin McCarthy unilaterally opened an impeachment inquiry into Biden in September. But the White House says it does not have to comply with subpoenas related to the investigation because it has not been authorized with a majority vote. Republican leadership believes the public supports an inquiry. Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer cited an AP poll that found 35 percent of U.S. adults believe President Biden did something illegal. 33 percent say they think he behaved unethically but not illegally, and 30 percent say he did nothing wrong. You know, that's a message that the American people are sending to Congress. We want you to find, the, find out the truth, and right now this administration is obstructing us. If Republicans vote to authorize the impeachment inquiry, they believe it will strengthen their hand if they go to court to enforce a subpoena. They want to obtain emails Biden sent using a pseudonym during his years as vice president. Republicans think it will provide insight into possible corruption surrounding Hunter Biden's overseas business dealings. But for the vote to pass, all 221 House Republicans will need to be on board because Democrats are united in their opposition. Impeachment is an extraordinary constitutional remedy that is reserved for high crimes and misdemeanors, uh, grave offenses against the public order. Um, and they obviously don't have that for Joe Biden, but they want to trivialize it so he can, so Donald Trump can say, oh, well, you know, he's been impeached twice, but there's also an impeachment investigation going on during the campaign against Joe Biden. On Tuesday, Johnson is going to meet with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who traveled to Washington as Congress tries to make a deal on a supplemental funding package that will provide aid to Ukraine, Israel, and extra security at the southern border. Zelensky wants to tell lawmakers in person why more funding for the war effort against Russia is urgently needed. The White House says if Congress does not approve more aid, the U.S. will run out of money for Ukraine by the end of the year. But Republicans are insisting on making immigration reform part of the bill. Finally, Johnson needs to get the National Defense Authorization Act approved. That's the bill that provides funding for the entire military and it's one of the few bipartisan things Congress does every year. That bipartisanship is expected to continue this year, but some Republicans say they'll vote against it because they aren't happy Johnson is also including a temporary extension to the FISA program known as Section 702, which allows the FBI to spy on foreigners overseas without a warrant. Lawmakers are concerned the program is abused and they don't want to fully reauthorize it without reforms. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.